guys, it's Dan with Green Touch Industries. Today we're going to be looking at the bed rail system. The part number in the bed rail system is AA101. And what this is, it's a two inch piece of square tubing that has our holes preset for all of our racks to be bolted right to it. Um, when you get it, you get two four foot sections and you get two plates. And these plates will be sandwiched together on the rail system so that will make it a full eight foot. If you have a six and a half foot bed or six foot bed, you can still bolt it all together and then just cut off the remaining that you don't need. Now we outfitted our old truck here today and we uh, show it with a full eight foot bed rail system. So uh, we're going to walk around and you'll see how it attaches. It works great. It really is a space saver. So for you guys that have those areas that are real tight, you can't haul a trailer around or you don't want to haul a trailer, this is a perfect way to outfit your truck and be very useful without having to have a trailer. So uh, we're going to break loose here. We're going to take a look at some of the uh, components, how they're attached on. And at that point, you, uh, you should be able to get a good understanding of what it looks like and how it'll work for you. Okay. The first thing that we're going to start out with is our domestic stake bed mounting kit. Now these come individual and you only need two per side in order to mount your actual bed rail system to it. So there will be no drilling at all required generally. It could be a possibility that maybe your truck is older like this one was and we did have to make a couple of drill holes. But all in all it just drops down into the two inch receiver part of the stake bed and then you can actually, uh, there's a bolt on the back side, you just tighten the bolt down and, and it makes it secure. Then you can bolt your rail right onto the top of it. So it's real super easy to use and it becomes a very solid piece of part of the truck. So you'll uh, You'll, you'll see how that fits in there. Then there's a series of holes all the way down so we can bolt on whatever we want. Okay, on the driver's side of the truck we mounted our sprayer rack, our water cooler rack, our shirt cage, gas can rack, and our line spool holder. On the passenger side we went ahead and we put our XA102 trimmer racks and those bolt on become very solid, very awesome to use. So it's uh, easy access when I pull up to the curbside or whatever if I'm at a job site. And then as we work our way down, we're going to see our hand tools. We keep those at a 45 degree. There's an extra bracket you can uh, order for that, which gives you easier access to your hand tools. So this is how it looks. Again, very clean, well organized, leaving the bed wide open.